Here's an interview from one of our past shows on Rock and Metal Revival. If you're interested in hearing full shows, go to our Facebook page and check out our list of affiliates for times and places where you can hear Rock and Metal Revival. There's the Lonely Ones with Eternal Sadness on Rock and Metal Revival, and we want to welcome back to the show uh, a longtime friend of ours uh, from the Lonely Ones, Marty McCoy. Welcome to uh, Rock and Metal Revival. Welcome back. Thanks for having me back. Well, Marty, it's been a while since we last talked to you, and there's been a lot of change since that last time. So let's first talk <laughs> off about the change from Bobo Flax to the Lonely Ones. Now, was this done primarily because of the lineup change with Sean leaving the band? Absolutely. Um, we felt like that it wasn't Bobo Flex without him. He was a huge influence in that band, and it kind of would have felt like we were going out as a cover band without him. Um, and the remaining four of us, you know, same guys, uh, just wanted to, you know, it was our chance to do something different. Um, you know, it was, it was upsetting that we didn't get to do Bobo Flex anymore. We had put our lives into it. Um, a couple of us had put our lives into it, and we were starting to make, you know, we we're making a really fine living at it, and it was a blast, and the crowds were big and all that stuff. And then when Sean came and said, made his decision you know we understood it was it was painful but we understood um so we decided you know let's shake it off do something fresh and 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 it's the remaining four members so if we could parlay our fans from one side to the other we, we could start at square three instead of square one and so far so good you know, with the sound of the first three singles that you guys have released as The Lonely Ones, I'm so happy to hear those unbelievable harmony vocals that we've all been so used to with Bobo Flex. Now, the new name, is uh, there going to be a whole, wholesale change with the sound, or are we going to get a little bit of that Bobo Flex sound that we're all kind of used to? Um, well, you know, me being the primary singer in the band, it's got, you know, as much as I'd like to come out with a totally new sound, it just isn't going to happen. <laughs> I understand. It's that. going to be different. It's going to be different because Jimmy and uh, Jake are the newer guys in Boba Flex, but now this is their, their, you know, this is their baby from the ground up as well. So they're definitely their influencers are a lot more intertwined in in the songs that we're writing. Um, but we, you know, between Jimmy, Jake, and uh, myself and Tommy, harmonies are always important. Um, it's part of our sound. It's part of what sets us apart. And those guys can sing, and they're absolutely. Being and this being their band, they they have made it, you know, very, very clear that they're going to sing. <laughs> There's nothing anyone can do about it. So I was like, okay, sounds good. Um, so yeah, their influences um, have definitely uh, intertwined in a lot more, and they're a lot more confident in pushing their their ideas. Um, not that they were held back in Bogle Flex, but they just kind of they themselves said they kind of had that feeling of well, you know, I don't want to push too hard because this band's been established before I was in it. Well, um, get- but with this thing, they're the gloves are off and they're in and then they're pushing everything they want to push. And it's a different, different form of writing. So it's definitely going to sound different. Well, I got to say uh, the covers that you guys have done over the years have been just amazing. Sound of silence still kills me. And uh, the pink Floyd, the Hey you, but to take on a queen song now that takes some balls seriously. No, but you guys, I, you guys agreeing. crushed it, man. And I, I'm like, who brought that idea to the table? That was Jimmy. Jimmy said, um, you know, we're coming out of the gate as a new band. Um, we can't go backwards. Exactly like you said, Sound of Silence. And, um, uh, hey, you, he said, we can't go backwards. We can do something simple and, and easy. He said, we got to challenge ourselves. I was like, okay, so what do you suggest? And he was like, Flash by Queen. I was like, are you out of your mind? <laughs> He's like, hear me out, hear me out. And he talked to me for about an hour and a half on the phone. And I kept saying, no, no, no. And he was like, why? We can pull it off. I was like, I'm the singer. Freddie Mercury was the singer of that band. I don't know when the scene is disconnect. And he was like, why are you aren't seeing this? And he, he talked to me for about an hour and a half. He was out in Washington for Christmas. Um, and he just kept pushing it and, and made some really good points. So I was like, all right, man. I finally gave in and said, let's try it. He said, when I hung the phone up, he sat there for another hour. Like, oh, my God, I can't believe he said yes. What are we going to do now? Um, (laughs) he had had his panic moment well we got into the rehearsal spot we worked out the music um which was not easy because everyone is all different and the tempo is all over the place because it's a movie soundtrack so it was very unconventional from the beginning to even get the music down and once we got the music down i was like okay that's a little sigh of relief but here comes the hard part of the vocals so we set acapella and it took about a minute if you, this is your strong suit, this is your strong suit, this is your strong suit, and we put together the harmonies, and it took about a minute, 
and we hit that very first flash a cappella, and everyone's head whipped around like, oh, we might be able to pull this off. And as it continued to go, it got stronger and stronger, and, and the final product we're very, very proud of. Well, you know, it would be, you know, that movie is, is is quite a few years old. It'd be kind of cool if they come out and did a like a remake of it and used your version in the soundtrack. Well, that's why it's two birds <laughs> with one stone, my friend. They're supposed to uh, they're supposed to do a remake of the movie. Um, it's supposed to happen, I think, like five years ago, and then some got put on hold, and then they're still talking about doing it. So that was our was our plan. It was like, okay, we'll do the flash thing. Um, we'll let people know that this band is serious and for real, and these boys can play. Um, which, you know, I understand that Flash is not one of the songs that you would listen to over a thousand. I would, but the average listener may not. But it was a, it was a, you know, a coming out the gate, hey, we're serious, we can play, you know, it's not over for us. Um, and then the second hand was, um, if they come out with that movie, um, then, you know, here, here's your soundtrack where we can do it, we want to do it, here, it's all the works out of the way. So, unless they hire, a big, huge, famous band to do it. Then we hopefully we're in. <laughs> well, the, I just, I was just totally blown away by that. And so far, we've heard three season, uh, singles so far from the Lonely Ones. Are we going to get a full length album, or are you guys just going to keep us with singles for a while uh, until you guys get back out on the road? Um, that's probably what we're going to. So we have the full length album done, um, but not being able to tour, it's like the plan is to release a single. Um, every couple weeks or um, every month so that we stay relevant and people are excited about stuff. Because, you know, we're not able to tour. It was the strangest thing ever to start this band and then out of nowhere there's a global pandemic and, and we can't do anything. So we had to kind of regroup and find out what we could do while we were trapped, you know, at home and trapped not touring. And it seems like, you know, people get their singles these days. Uh, you know, the day of waiting outside Tower Records for the new Guns N' Roses album with, you know, 3,000 other people at midnight mm-hmm. is over with. Um, and people, you know, their attention spans are shorter and, and your sense of immediacy is totally different than what it once was. And they're holding, they're holding their world in their hand. Um, so we, our, our, that was our thought was like, let's release singles and keep, keep it relevant. Let them get excited about a song, let them learn it. And then bam, hit them with another one until the album's out. Um, and we thought, you know, we'd be able to do that with three or four songs and then we'll release the rest of the record because we'll be on the road. But that has not been the case. It's been... Uh, you know, set down, shut down again, uh, more restrictions. Nobody knows when the music industry is coming, or the live touring industry is coming back. Um, so it's just been kind of play it by ear, but have enough enough music in the pipeline to, to keep uh, keep people excited about, you know, I, I guess that's the plan. It's been kind of fly by the seat of our pants here. Well, isn't know. life that way <laughs> lately? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, it's... You know, you know, and I understand. It's like I, I want to keep everybody safe. And, um, it's it's a bummer, but I understand. You know, that there's things that we have to do to get you know protect the the people in our uh, community and protect the people in our population. And and I get it. It's just uh, it's a bummer, but yeah, it really is a bummer. You know, one of the things I always loved about you guys, Marty, was the killer live show. And with this COVID thing hanging around, it's got to be hard for you, a guy that's been out on the road for so many years, not to be out there seeing your, yeah, I would like to call them your friends, the, the fans who come out and see you night Absolutely. after night. Absolutely. Um, that's where I feel most comfortable. Um, that's where, you know, us not being a big, you know, MTV's gone and us not being a big, uh, you know, record label kind of band that's how we that's how we grow our fan base and that's how we connect with people is out there on the road live um so yeah it's definitely been different it's uh it's hard to explain it's like it's kind of caused some form of depression that i've never Mm -hmm. really had before um but at the same time the thing that keeps me keeps me happy and 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 moving forward is that everybody's going through it it's not just hey you're you're in prison everybody else is in prison as well so so there's that kind of Fine balance could be worse, could be bad kind of thing. And I'm very empathetic, and I would hate to get a bunch of people sick and 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 be part of that. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I like, totally get it. It's, it's just a very strange time. It's like you know, I, I'm not a religious person, but man, I think this was in the Bible. Something like this was. <laughs> yeah, some, <laughs> when the this... locusts start breaking the windows. I mean, I was wrong. <laughs> 
Well, you, you know, Marty, one of the things I was very excited about today when I was looking online is I see that the Lonely Ones currently have a date right here in our own backyard in our neighborhood at the back bar coming up in October. So I guess the big question is, um, I know we're going to probably hear a lot of Boba Flex material, but will we hear a lot of tunes off that new album? Uh, we will not hear any Boba Flex material. No. Um, no, no. This Lonely Ones is a new thing. Uh, okay. Boba Flex will do show, Boba Flex will do shows. Um, you know, three four times a year. My brother loves it too much. Um, we had too many fans. We had too much. We built too much with that band. So we're, it's it's not. Okay. You know, the band's not going to tour like it used to, but we will do. You know, three or four shows a year, something like that. We haven't quite decided yet. Um, and you know. The back bar in Madison and those areas will definitely be one of those big shows that we do once a year. Um, but the Lonely Ones is its, new, is its own thing. Okay. Um, yeah, so it'll it'll be all Lonely Ones music. It's a it's a separate entity. That's awesome. That, I mean, I I was looking so forward to uh, seeing you guys at Broadfest, seeing Boba Flex at Broadfest, and then oh, now, me too. Yeah, and now I see that this gig is coming to uh, Janesville, and I'm really looking forward to seeing what you guys have got in store for us. Um, you know, so Marty, it's been a pleasure having you on the show once again. You guys are always welcome back here on Rock and Metal Revival on the Hog. Uh, where is the best place for fans now to find out more information about uh, about the Lonely Ones? Uh, we are at the Lonely Ones Band uh, dot com. We're at the Lonely Ones on Facebook. Uh, all all the major outlets that everybody uses these days: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, Bands in Town, that kind of thing. Uh, Pretty much, can't if you if you're a fan of Bubble Flex, then you can't get away from the Lonely Ones because we've commandeered all those social media sites, and it's the same thing. We just changed the name, changed some pictures. <laughs> so, right. um, yeah. All right. We built that thing. I ain't throwing it in the trash. I'm taking it. I don't. I don't blame <laughs> but, uh, you. All right. Well, yeah, we're... thanks for always playing our music, man. It really means a lot to us. Um, Janesville's been a, a wonderful place for us, and we can't wait to come back. And Bob Kerman's been outstanding human being to us. And, uh, and our relationship has continued to, to be great with him and, and that area. And, and we're just really, really happy. Hopefully everything, everybody wears their mask, stays strong, and we can get back to playing shows. Well, we look forward to seeing you on, a, I looked up the date, October 16th at the Back Bar. And uh, we're going to go out of this with a new one from uh, The Lonely Ones. This is Flash on uh, Rock and Metal Revival. <laughs> 